Hello, my beautiful light worker beauty friends. I lost two subscribers over my last video. Not sure what I said about being loving and having a gentle heart, being born with it. it was offensive to people. But you never know. You never know. We work in the light. Actually, we work in the dark to serve the light. So we're not always accepted. And that's what this video is all about. Again, I'd like to pull in my higher self and Archangel Jophiel to speak with us once again, along with our mother. Mother Mary is just a part of our mothers, but there's many mothers, but they're all here. Jophiel. Uriel. They would like to say, how has it been to serve the light in the darkness? How has it been? How have you been holding up? It hasn't been easy. And we know that. Sometimes we are not received very well. Sometimes when we speak, we feel like we're sabotaged a lot by the very beings we are trying to assist and help. Sometimes they don't want to accept what we have to say. Sometimes when we're trying to help, it's perceived as preaching, um, being a know-it-all, um, thinking you're better, having an ego, when in fact it's the exact opposite. So it's very frustrating for light workers. That is a definite understood thing throughout the higher realms of the cosmos, we understand that it is not easy to be a light worker in a dense world, in a very dark place. But this place is not as dark as we think it is. There's a lot darker that has happened in the, in the past and in, in, in history. Christ, for one, had to work in a very, very, very dark place. He came as one being amongst many, many who did not understand. There are maybe a handful, a dozen who understood him, but the rest wanted to kill him. <laughs> um, that night he prevented a war in all out, full out war, because he took upon himself the hate, the anger and frustration of the misunderstood masses who wanted to create war that night. And instead of creating a war, they were more focused on crucifying him personally. They he took their anger and brought it upon himself that night. The night that it is spoken of that he had saved us, you know, our sins he took upon himself. But there must not be any guilt about that because Literally, the sins that he took upon himself were the sins of the people of those day, that day, that era. Um, it was the war that they were about to ensue that night. 
would have destroyed the planet, would have destroyed the people. But instead of doing that, they destroy him. And that's where that comes from, that, that he saved us, saves us um, by taking our sins upon himself. Um, he was the savior of that time. He saved us from war, from destruction, so that we could continue to move forward in our journey. And, but not of these days. Now, as he rests, the light workers, and there's many of us, so we don't have to take that huge burden upon ourselves. Like, we don't have to have a crucifixion or be murdered necessarily, but we do take upon. A little piece of the darkness onto ourselves as we live our lives today but since there are many of us it's not concentrated like it was then into one being one person one man so we're doing a lot of work the same work that he did However, since there's many of us, we don't have to necessarily go through that pain and agony as bad as what he did. But we're going through a personal pain, agony, and turmoil. And the fact that we are not perceived by many, many of the beings here on earth. They don't understand higher education quite yet. And what they don't understand, they tend to fight against um, and you are perceived as either being crazy or being too confident or being oh just different we there it's a it, we're not understood but we're here to change a paradigm to completely shift a whole entire planet one spark at a time one being at a time but we're doing it all at the same time just by being here my beautiful beings of light of christ conscious christ consciousness we are flipping this entire planet upside down and changing it to be a more loving place, to be a better place, to be a more understood place, to be a more positive place, to be a more light place, to feel better, to live better, to live on the path that was set forth by our father. We had strayed for a while. We are here to bring the people back. But in order to do that, we really, really have to come in and change things. And that's why we're not understood very well or accepted very well because change is different. When you come in to a place with the knowledge that you're gonna change it, you have to understand that the beings that already live there who have been doing things in a certain way for a certain amount of time, they're gonna resist you. If there's gonna be resistance. They don't want to accept the fact that what they've been doing has not been beneficial. So you come in and you're like, no, I, I'm not going to follow what you say. I'm going to follow what my intuition says. I'm going to follow what I feel is necessary to do in my heart. I'm just going to follow me because I feel like I came in with knowledge of higher uh, source knowledge. And I came in here to change this world. I'm going to do what I feel in my heart is right. It may not be the same way that you lived your life or the same way that you feel is necessary for me to live my life, 
but I'm following the path. I'm going to continue to follow the path that I feel is right in my heart, that I feel is right in my soul, that I feel a calling to do. And you stand your ground as a light worker. We stand our ground. And despite the resistance that we get, we keep going and going and climbing and climbing that ladder. And it's a beautiful, amazing thing. And I appreciate each and every one of you for doing this. We don't get enough appreciation, but that's just the path that we chose to take. We knew that we weren't going to get enough appreciation. We knew we were going to be perceived as however they want to perceive us as odd, as different, as crazy, as egotistical maybe, um, as stupid, as wrong, as everything else. But no matter what they want to say, they see the light inside of us. They see it. And they want some of it. Whether they admit it or not. So light workers, I want you to not be so hard on yourselves because the rest of the world is hard on you. I want you to understand that you're doing the right thing. You're creating something brand new with beings all across the planet who are strangers who you don't even know but you're connected to on a higher level you know this to be true my truth seekers my individuals who connect with source you know this to be true and the biggest physical sign that I've been getting lately is the chills all over my body and a light, a light feeling a lightness. Like right now, as I speak to you, I have chills. That's when I know that I'm being guided. I'm connected to source. It's time for individuals who are here to create a new place. Despite of what the outside world might tell you, to realize who you are, to realize that you are a gifted, high individual and nothing can stop you. Nothing in this world can stop you. Nobody in this world can stop you because you know, deep down you know. That you're here for a purpose beyond just skirting through life and following a path that everybody else seems to think that you should be on. And it's difficult and it's hard. And you might have to work literally directly right into the darkness because that's your path to journey. The second a light worker walks into a room, they change a paradigm. They change an energy. Even when they're feeling low, even if they're feeling confused, even if they're feeling hurt, frustrated, everything else that comes along with being a human being. Their essence alone is changing lives and they don't even realize it. You don't even realize you're doing this. Spirit work is like um, a lot behind the scenes. A lot behind the scenes. This is why I say Christ consciousness, when you are a Christ realized individual, and what I mean by Christ realized is that you're the same, you're on the same journey, on the same path as Christ. Peace, love, harmony, 
unity. Bringing that about. And getting major resistance along the way. Major resistance. There's a push-pull of spirit, material, spirit, material. When you bring in spirit, material wants to attack and bring you down to the more realistic, what they would say, level. But understand, you've got to keep rising up. You've got to keep rising, 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 rising. And you're going to have days where you're going to fall. You're going to have days where you're confused. You're going to have days where you're hurt. You're going to have days that you struggle. Because one thing the light has to do is experience the dark too. We can't just say everything is perfect when it's not. When there's that, that other dark part of us existing at the same time. We have to experience the darkness so we can relate to the darkness. So we can help other people by relating because if we only go through happiness and butterfly rainbow beautiful things on this earth right now they're going to run from us because we don't understand they're going to say you don't understand me you just don't understand me how can you help me when you've never been there when you haven't seen the darkness so that's the reason why we have to literally dive right into it be a part of it We have to become a dark worker in order to understand how to rise up the dark to the light. And This is a big major test for you as an individual. If you can get past your dark challenges, you're gonna show your creator, your higher self, that you are worth becoming a higher being. You're, wor you're, you're ready to evolve because you experience the dark, you know how to work through the dark. You know how to, you know, you know every day you're gonna go back and forth. You're gonna have some lows, you're gonna have some highs, but you start to learn how to work through the lows more and more and more and more. You start to have a loving but very detached feeling with detached from the heaviness because understand that the heaviness is put there in your path if you want to help others if you want to help to know how to deal with it, to know how to handle it, to know how to get past it, to know how to how to work with it. So we need to work with the light part of us and the dark part of us. We need to work with all aspects of the whole entire spectrum. And I want you to not give up my beautiful beings of light because I see a lot of YouTube channels right now that when higher self was out all this stuff was getting there were more and more beautiful beings coming out and now I'm seeing them kind of leaving and and not speaking anymore because of the fact that every time you bring your knowledge you get pulled down a little bit the darkness will attack and some people just give up on the speaking part of it which is fine, don't speak. Go around and just be a lighthouse 
and, and just by being there, open up people's eyes. But speaking is a way to relate to other people. And if we can't, if lightworkers can't find somebody to relate to, the, the, then the, they might just stop, their, turn off their light because it's easier that way. So that's what I'm here to do is to help you understand that I relate to you. If you are thinking on a deeper level, on a daily basis, if you are thinking about personal growth on a daily basis, if you're very hard on yourself on a daily basis, wanting to rise up all the time and trying to figure things out and how you're going to do this, how you're going to create all this light and be a light worker. Uh, if you're if you are seeking truth, if you are um, speaking, if you're feeling the chills, if you're if you're interested in paranormal, if you're interested in angels, if you're interested in spirit, if you think that you're hearing it and you just can't tell anybody because you worry about what they're gonna think or what they're gonna say because they'll put you down. I hear ya. I'm with ya. And the more people speak up, come out with it, the more that other people are going to feel comfortable in coming out with it as well and being free to speak who they actually are, who their real self is. Because your real self is not just this little person who's trying to find a job and trying to do this and trying to, the rat race, you know, try to build material things and, and build wealth and you know, that's not your real self. Your real self is the seeker. Your real self is the mature, self-realized, spirit-realized individual. The real self can accept beautiful individuals who speak about spirit. The real self can accept that there's angels, that there's more beings higher than us that we can't even perceive yet. The real self can see dimensions. The real self can live forever that's what we're guiding ourselves into is becoming that real self just don't give up on who you are no matter what anybody says if you know that you are a christ consciousness individual if you know that you are god realized and you're like why do people keep trying to shut off my light keep going because they truly don't understand you. They see that you are higher. They think you have an ego and it's the opposite. It's actually, I'm sorry, but I just know things. I'm sorry, but yeah, and I'm, the, I'm always going to be the student, whether I'm the teacher or not, I'm always the student. We know that. We don't know everything, but we know everything about ourselves. And we, we know everything about our path. And we know everything about what we're truly supposed to do, personally. And it's like, <sighs> ego is a very outer thing. It's like wanting the outside world to accept you. Or not really wanting the outside world to accept you, but really like, caring about oh I look like I have material items it's very materialistic confidence confidence in, in, in what you do as a spiritual realized individual is not ego because you don't really care about what they say about your materialistic items you don't care if people think that you have a million dollars you don't care if people think that you are broke you don't care if people see you as just having a lot of stuff. What you care about is what, how people see you as um, an individual, what your traits are, how much people see you as a loving person, how much see, people see you as a caring person, how much people see that you're striving for more. And you want to help people get to the level that you're at. That's not ego. It's 
don't let them say anything to try to bring you down away from your confidence you keep your confidence it's a hard journey but it's a path we're all on eventually you become you rise up and you don't have to deal with the darkness anymore we're all on the same journey and you know if you're getting higher up there doesn't mean you think you're better keep that true heart know thyself And light workers keep doing what you do and I encourage you to talk I encourage you to fly with your bad self be your original true self regardless of what they might say regardless yeah do you understand this or, 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 um, well, I know you do if you're on my channel and, um, just keep doing what you do. Keep being the loving, God realized individual that you are and being a spiritual individual is not a bad thing. Keep doing it. Keep. The more you're confident in saying, hey, this is my truth. I can see other realms. I can. I'm seeking higher knowledge. I'm feeling the chills. I'm feeling Christ. I know things. I am being guided. I am different. I'm outside the box. You can't put me inside a box. Ever, 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 ever will you ever put me inside a box and tell me how I am supposed to be. The more you're confident with yourself, the more, the better you're going to feel. Trust me on this. Trust me on this because every time I fall off is when I listen to maybe words or thoughts or feelings or emotions of others who don't really understand me who want to criticize and condemn me and they don't even have to say it to me i just feel it i can read them and we are telepathic as light workers we are very telepathic individuals so people don't even have to speak they could lie right to our face and we're like no no i know what you really think of me and and in that pain from what they if they perceive you as completely wrong like if they look at you and say she's just I'm sick of her speaking about spirit she's losing it like if you could read that and it makes you want to go down but don't don't just stay strong and what you do if they're not somebody that's going to receive it walk away walk away separate yourself from that because when they're ready they will start to seek it but it's not up to you to the only reason that I speak is not to uh, make them believe what I believe the reason that I speak like the reason I do this channel and what I'm doing um, is to have others who understand and who are on the, the same wavelength as me to understand that they're not alone. They're not the only ones. So it's really not to teach necessarily as it is to relate to others who are on the same wavelength because we need each other. We need to know that we're not the only ones existing on this path. And the more we, the more we see the light in others coming out and being confident to speak like this, the more we're gonna wanna do it come out be confident and speak and so the speaking is not necessarily to teach the darkness a different way it's more to reach out to the light and others and the, the way that we help the darkness as well because we are living 
in it all is just by being us. So we know where to speak and when to speak. That's why I speak on this platform. It's beautiful because people come to me and find me. And if, if it's not a place where I feel like they're going to accept my knowledge, I just don't talk. And I just lead by example. And that's kind of, that's the best way personally for a, a light worker to handle what they're going through is to not kind of force it on others, just kind of be around others. But then again, we have to speak and find others who are genuinely feeling this information because we need to unite so that we don't feel alone like Christ was, like Jesus was on the cross. We don't need to feel alone anymore. It's Christ consciousness. It's not Christ's physical one person dealing with it all like he did. And we're doing it. We're doing it. I don't know if it's 144,000. I think it's way more. I know it's way more. People like me, some people reach up to millions of subscribers. I know there's way more. But uh, that's why I'm doing what I do. So, hey, I'm just going to post this. If it's received, it's received. It's not. It's, it's not. But, hey, I'm just going to keep doing what I do. Because literally when I'm not speaking on YouTube, I feel bad. Like, I'm always thinking about it. Like, I have to post. I have to speak. I have to show these people that they're not alone. And I need to find... It is for myself as well, not just for you guys. It's like, I need to find others who understand me. Like, where are you? Where are you in the world? And when I get comments and, and, and beautiful messages back from other people, it's like, yes, yes, I'm not the only one. There's more of us out there. Thank you. Thank you. And um, that's what we do. We lift each other up and... Uh, so I encourage you to get yourself out there and be known so that other light workers can find you. And uh, one spark, you know, can light a, a thousand just by feeling a connection and feeling that other people understand where you're coming from. You are not a seeker of the physical realm anymore. You're not a seeker of survival. You're not a seeker of work. You're not a seeker of building some materialistic foundation anymore you're a seeker of higher truth and that's what you always think about that's that's your journey deep down inside you're ready to excel you're ready to expand you're ready to move up you're ready to rise you are ready to experience a new existence that's who you are. So, you might have lost everything material in order to find, in order to realize that the material is not what's going to save you. What's going to save you is your heart and your soul and your spirit. Become wise. Become wise. Alright guys, I love y'all and take care. Peace. Bye.